thing because uh, it was like such a big deal. Yeah. Here we go, dude. It's completely off topic, but do you guys follow competitive eating at all? Yes. Are you talking about the the hot dog guy? Yeah. So Joey Chestnut, oh, yeah. who is the goat, by the way, undisputed. I think he's the he he's in contention for the G goat. You know what the G goat is? It's the person who are who is the greatest greatest at their thing more than anyone else was great at their thing. You know what I mean? Mm, like yeah. Like G goats could only be like him, Jordan, Wayne Gretzky. You know what I mean? Like those yeah, guys. Yeah, yeah. yeah Joey yeah. Chestnut is the all time greatest of all time for eating. So. He had a big falling out with Nathan's Hot Dogs, who hosts the e the Evo for competitive eating. I'm not even kidding about this. Like, I feel wow. like an idiot. They do a bunch of events. The, the Evo dogs, yeah. for competitive eating is the July the 4th Nathan's Hot Dog Eating Contest. It's by far the most publicized, the most sought after. It's the crown jewel of competitive eating, right? Um, Joey Chestnut has been a champion like 13 years in a row or some crazy shit like that. He's just 13? insane. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's actually unreal. It's unreal how much better he is. Um, but because he got sponsored by Beyond Meat, I think, they banned him from the tournament, which is one of the stupidest things I've ever heard of in my life. And guess what they did as in response? What? Him and Kobayashi, who is like the arm... If, if Chestnut's Mango, Kobayashi is the armada of competitive eating. He's the foreigner who's almost just as good or as good. And it's a great feud. Kobayashi and him are doing a hot dog eating contest on Netflix on Labor Day in September. As a big fuck you to, uh... Nathan's. It's it's juicy drama. Uh, anyways, I'm gonna That's watch awesome. the hot dog eating contest. I'm gonna stream it. I think. Are they gonna be Beyond Meat hot dogs? That would be sick, right? But I think Dude, it's gonna be classic hot dogs. Not healthy. There's no. I Beyond I, I, I don't eating, want to. You know who eats 60 hot dogs in an hour? Yeah. 60 yeah. hot dogs <laughs> in an hour. That's the amount yeah. of hot dogs I eat in a year, probably. Maybe two yeah. years. That's insane. Yeah, th that's gotta be really bad for you too. I yeah, mean, yeah. I, I feel bad for his gut biome. It's nuts. You gotta like. I think he might. I, I don't know if he, he was gonna. Uh, if he was the one to talk about it, but like you have to eat certain things before the event so your stomach doesn't like collapse on itself. You know, like it, it's, what? it's bad, man. Not, 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 not actually collapse on black itself. Hole. <laughs> <laughs> like, dude, I don't know, man. Like when you put so much mass into one thing, you can only imagine, you know? <laughs> it's crazy. Oh but by God. the way, 60 hot dogs, every hot dog has 500 milligrams of sodium. So oh, when you ingest shit. 60 hot dogs, if you can do some quick mass right there, that is 30,000 milligrams of sodium, if I'm correct. Mm. Yeah. Like that, that is, is... That's disgusting. <laughs> that's a lot. Dude. That's fucking insane. Yeah. You're, I'm your sorry. Blood You're right. It's not, it's not an hour. It's 10 minutes. Yeah, it's, it's 60, 60 hot, dogs, hot dogs in 10 minutes. You're right. Yeah. Yeah, your blood becomes diamonds with that sort of blood pressure. I I, I can't even. Dude, it's the equivalent of having a, a fistful of salt and eating it, by the way. It's 30 mm. grams of salt. It's insane. Um, anybody no, want hot dogs? Yeah, that sounds great, man. <laughs> <laughs> I love hot dogs. No, they, they 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 get down like they, they do the thing where you dip the the hot dog bun in the water so you can get them down faster. They literally dip. They they are they basically professional eaters will remove the dog from the buns, dip the buns in water, which is gross, and then eat it, and then jump like this to force the soggy bread down their throats to eat it faster. This is a true thing. Look it up. It's insane. Truly. That's like getting a fob. You know. Truly the throat goats for sure. The glizzy gobblers. Incredible. This is a very close game, and it's been a five-minute game as well. These yep. matchups, uh, this matchup uh, tends to be very slow because Bowser Jr. has some pretty tremendous kill confirms and kill power, and Pikachu has a very good, consistent way to slow down the match by either stalling under the stage or throwing out T-Jolts. Uh, so there's really no incentive for Zap to play too crazy where you're trying to make everything happen, and there's no incentive for Shiny Mark to approach all that much either because you have a better projectile. So, you know, much slower games. Someone like said, <laughs> "Sorry, someone said water dip is the Z jumping of competitive eating." <laughs> <laughs> Why is that so accurate? It's fucking it's crazy. Real. Yeah, but uh, uh, someone said it's lemonade because the acid breaks it down. Interesting. We have a That's... close ass game here though. And oh, Ooh. living. Yeah. That, that oh. Stage oh my god! Watch it! Watch it! Watch oh. it! He hops to ledge. He knows he can punish it. 
F smash will kill here. Good from Zap. It or, will. Uh, shiny mark to burn it. Oh, the air dodge comes through. It actually avoids F the bomb or as well. So bad. We'll kill. Oh, oh again. Zap's How crazy is Zap for just getting hit by that. He's dead there. Nice. With a great up throw, Mark takes game one. Oof, this is I intense. Like I like the Pikachu pillar combos with like, is that Nair that's dragging them yeah, down? Yeah, Nair. That's Nair. Like, yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah. I've never uh, seen a Pikachu They pillar. call them Nair loops in this game, uh, coined by Esam. Okay. The Nair loops. There's a, the a thing in this game where there's a, a slight like visual detail. It's called the blue DI line, where you can see where your opponent is holding the controller while in hit stun. And Esam was like a proponent of really locking in and staring at that so that you can do more efficient uh, nair loops. Because if you if they like DI behind you, for example, you can turn around the nair loop to keep it going better. Um, or you know you need to up tilt instead of grab, for example. And like there's these little optimizations, but it's very very tight, especially when you get to like mid percent. So they'll start reading the DI line. It's insane. Right. You guys think Joey Chestnuts like wants to eat hot dogs when he's not working? Like. I think. It... Oh no, dude. I I I I think he like celebrates like one. <laughs> Maybe on Christmas, he's like, I get, he's like, I'll have one on Christmas. But I think, <laughs> I think like his main job is competitive eating. So he probably has to eat hot dogs pretty much year round. Cause there's probably like smaller competitions. Like, you know, we have Evo for fighting games, but you know, we also have big houses and riptides and stuff. I'm sure it's yeah. the same thing for them where they have smaller competitions. And there's a lot of categories for competitive eating. There's like competitive rice eating, burgers. There's how much you can eat in a certain time versus how long it takes you to eat a certain amount. You know what I mean? Like. Instead of, oh, how much do you eat in 10 minutes? It's like, how long will it take you to eat 10 hot dogs sort of thing? Mm. Um, so, yeah. And, and is Joey the all-category goat, or is he just the, the glizzy goat? Uh, you know, I'm going I'm to look that right right now. Uh, competitive food eating record holders. I'm actually this fast. This is some really nice lore. Oh, I major have... league eating. Go figure. There you go. Mm. There you go. Crawfish is Sonia Thomas. Oh, Badlands! You know Eric Badlands Chugs? The who YouTuber that? who drinks who drinks all at water? He has the oh, record for burritos. Ooh. Badlands no Chugs. Way. Eggs is Joey Chestnut. This is so cool. A hundred Asparagus Joey Chestnut. How many records does he have? But yo, Cookie Jarvis has ham and potatoes and he has um, uh, chicken wings. Badlands has matzo balls. Joey Chestnut has pulled pork sandwiches and tacos from Taco Bell and hot dogs. Wow, but Badlands is a bunch. This is so cool. He has all these records. Are you kidding me? Oh yeah, he's a cherry pie record holder as well. Are you kidding me? 121 Twinkies in six minutes. Are you? 141 hard-boiled eggs in eight minutes. What is the protein on that? Wait, wait, wait! No, no, you, 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 he ate. No, no, no. 126 tacos in eight minutes. That can't be. That can't be right. Unless it's a small tacos. Three. It's a three-inch tortilla, so that it's like he, a. He, he's the vacuuming fuck? them in at that point. It's just. 28 pounds of protein. Wow. <laughs> All right, PJ's black hole theory might be. I, that's what I'm saying. It, it reaches critical m mass. You gotta like supplement with like, I don't know how uh, black holes would work at all. I'm not gonna try, but I'm telling you, there's something there's something going on there. It's just a lot of mass at, at one point. No, 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 no. Yeah, that's, yeah, yeah. that's the most disturbing thing I've read in like three years. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding? Do you know how much food that is? Yeah, no, I know. This guy's a freak. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no, he's really a freak. He might be. The, he's probably the G goat just by reading that. I mean, no one. No, no, no one is, is that. He commit. is the G goat. Look, it says yeah, he here wins. on his bio, Joey Chesma is the greatest eater in history. That is not empty editorializing or blavivating. That is empirical fact. His bio just says straight up, he is the goat, and no one comes close. 141 hard-boiled eggs in eight minutes is a ridiculous, like, what? How does that happen? Also, how do they stay, like, normal weights? Like, uh, eating that many calories, you'd have to work out a, a metric fuck ton, right? Okay, I have a great idea. Hear me out. Ready for this? 
Okay. Competitive eating coin box. We invite the 10 best eaters over here. Okay, I gotta say, I gotta phrase that more properly. We invite the best. <laughs> we, <laughs> we invite the best food eaters over here. There we go. Uh, and we have them do a coin box. That would be sick. That would be sick. Dude, I, I'm, I'm, I'm obsessed with these records. I, I, I'm, I'm, in, I'm in, in awe of what I'm reading here. The hungry box. It's perfect. Well, yeah, you are hungry, box. That's true. It, it's it ties in. They're, they're all like normal looking. Well, I, I guess uh, the Chugs guy is pretty big, but like so many of the competitive eaters are like skinny dudes and dudettes. I'm like, where does this all go? Dude, Badlands has the burrito world record. He ate 15, basically 15 Chipotle burritos Ugh. in eight minutes. I gotta get on their workout. Routine. That can't be right, right? No, I mean, it's if it's on the website, it has to be verified. Well, it says I mean, Burritoville it, burritos, but it's gotta be around the same size, right? Let me. I mean, is there a video? Can someone bring the video up? Hold on. So I, got, I got. I'm sorry. I'm obsessed. I know I'm so, playing. Oh yeah. Oh, there's a match happening. Uh, huh? Pikachu is zipping around. Anyway, yep. Sonya Thomas is from MDVA. That's pretty cool. Shout out. That Shout is out. so it, wild. This is the thing I was talking about, Junebug, that going under the stage, and then it's literally a coin flip whether he goes to the, like, all the way to the bottom or he goes back to the ledge he came from. It's so crazy. Oh, and then T-Jolt is what? Ridic what? It's ridiculous. Yeah, you, it's very, very impossible to punish if you get hit by that. So you can zip around the stage for free? Uh, yeah, unless they're ready for it and they, you know, anticipate, like, if they, um, you know, bait it out or something. So what, what's happening is Zap is sitting on the platform, so Shiny Mark can just do that for free because the only oh, thing is. that he has below him is downer and it's not going to hit that. Uh, you'd have to be, like, crazy to drop through the platform and then downer that. So Shiny Mark can actually just zip around and that, like, inherently creates some pretty insane pressure while Zap is on the platform. And it seems to have beaten out that up smash there, too. It's a pretty ridiculous move. Yeah. That is true. If I, if I hosted that tournament for food eating, we, we could just call it the Hungry Box. You're right. <laughs> yeah. There you go. That, that is pretty funny. Okay. A lot of Thunder Jolt coming out. Mm -hmm. Oh, he just zipped to the center of the stage. Wow. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a crazy move in this game. It's definitely the thing that... You know, uh, the the main thing that will be talked about about why Pikachu's broken is the pancaking. If you like back air and land with it, you, your hitbox becomes ridiculously small. That was sick. Footstool wow. out of shield, up B, and that's true. Well done to Zap. That's so hard to hit on Pikachu especially. Uh, but you see that there, and that's going to be uh, Zap taking the stock lead. As I was saying, um, people forget how good Quick Attack is in this game, but it is an insane recovery option. smash still an amazing kill move i guess how many donuts do you think you could eat in, in eight minutes can i like pack them like yeah. can i do the eight minutes how many donuts as long as they get in there right uh, like okay. like what's like a normal donut I or like a if i focus donut? i probably do 10. i, I could I probably do six no, no, I think if I smush them all together, I've, I've seen like bodybuilders smush them all together and they just like take giant bites out of them. Do you, do you want to know what the world record is? What is I think, it? I think I could do like 20. The like, world record for hot for for donuts in eight minutes is 81. Holy. Oh, God. And, it, and it's a, it's a, it's, it's her, her name is Sonia. No, no. Mickey Sudo. Hmm. Is that the Mickey Sudo that wins the female? Hot dog eating contest all the time. This lady ate 81 hot uh, donuts in eight minutes, and she weighs 125 pounds. Where is it oh. going? I don't understand, dude. 16 and a half pints of vanilla ice cream in eight min in six minutes. No, that's it's, absurd. It's, it's 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 just. She ate. How does your body? How do you not die? She ate eight and a half pounds of kimchi in six minutes. <laughs> eight point five pounds of kimchi. In eight in six minutes. Are you fucking like kidding me? Do you know how much? Oh, 
that's actually kind of goaded because you eat a lot of the kimchi to make up for how fucked up your stomach is getting from the yeah, other. Yeah, that, that's like a straight <laughs> shot of microbiology yeah. into your stomach. I think she needs to have it. It's just nuts. Wow. That's how, a pound a minute. Wow. How do competitive eaters not get fat? Dude, wh where does she put it? What the f- Oh, God. I need to I need I need to research this dude. This is insane. This is insane. The metabolism levels are just nuts. Oh. We're going to game three. <laughs> Should I get into competitive eating? Is that the way I get my dream bud? <laughs> just eat 50 glizzies in a minute. Dude, um, do you know what I think? I actually won a food eating contest when I was 16 years old. Well, Whoa. what was it for? It wasn't for amount. It was for speed eating. And it was basically... <laughs> this is a true story. It was a little thing. Like, you got into a line. They put you up with six other people. It was a pie eating contest. And you had to get to the bottom of the pie to win. And I was there with 10 other people. And I won. And you couldn't use your hands. It was one of those stupid things at a fair. And I'm like, I'm going to enter that when I was little. And my parents are like, are you sure? I'm like, yeah, I can win that. And then I won. It was great. Oh my god. You know what the, you know what the prize was? What was the prize? More pie. That's awesome. They gave you like three more pies. Anyways. Did you eat pies? Um, I think we shared them, but I, I didn't want any more pie after that. I'm just <laughs> <Yeah>. like, <laughs> I would not. It was key lime pie. It was really good, but I'm just like, I'm oh. good. Key lime pie yeah. is so delicious. It's, it's one of my faves. Yeah. I, I, lo I really love a good pumpkin and pecan, too. Ooh. Chat, what is the best pie you guys think? It, objectively. Because I think pumpkin and, peca uh, pumpkin and pecan are both good. Apple pie with, a, with Lemon meringue ice cream is, is good. Mine's key lime. Key lime's my favorite. Key lime's, key lime's up there. Apple pie. I mean, I feel like apple pie. Yeah. Classic. The thing, it's not, the thing with apple, apple pie can be a miss, though, too, you know, if, if they don't make it properly. Oh, yeah. I like my yeah. apple pie, like, dense. I like when it's dense. Mm. Like a French one. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I feel like apple pie is like the Mario of pies. It's yeah, like, yeah. It's, it's, it's yeah. definitely in the, yes. the, the middle tier, yeah. <laughs> like, I'll never s turn it down. Chicken pot, like, chicken pot pie is the Bowser Jr. of pie. Oh, I'm, I'm, yeah, not gonna I, I'm not going to elaborate. It just is. It just is. I, I wasn't even thinking about any of the savory pies. I was strictly <laughs> thinking sweet. But... The savory pies go a long way. Um, yep. Pies feel very American. I know they're like super French, but whenever I think of pies, I'm like, that's a very American thing. One of the flavors that's used so often around the world that's not in America is it's called rhubarb. And I, don't, I think I've never really had it. I've but only had it as like a pickled rhubarb side dish, but I've never had it in pie. I, I assume it's like, is it like celery? That's yeah, is, is, it, it, like. is it, is it sweet? Is it sweet? What is it? It's stocky. It tasted sweet when I had it pickled, but I it's sour. It like sour. Oh, it's like acid. What does it taste like? Like citrus? It's very tart. I see. This looks familiar. I don't know. Um, maybe I've had this. It's like a generic red looking pie. I feel like this is what a pie would look like in a cartoon. Mm. Let me see. Rhubarb pie. Oh, yeah, it does look very cartoony. Maybe. I feel like I must have had this, but I cannot. <laughs> I don't know what it is. In California, we don't we don't really have rhubarb pies. I mean, we're not like a pie capital of the world or anything, but I do think um, it's very hard to find around here, for sure. The most underrated cake of all time is carrot cake, for sure. I just, mm. It never gets the love it is. Okay, Zap, maybe a chance to get on the board here, but Mark is so patient here. It's a town and city, too, and the flat version, I think there could be something to be said about how it would help uh, TM Zap here, but it's... Uh, pretty difficult when Shiny Mark has like such a tremendous lead. He tried to go for the uh, extension onto the platform there. If Zap gets set away, he can get uh, in a pretty bad spot very quickly. How do you catch the rat on this stage? It's hard. 
The stage oh. is so strong for Pikachu, I feel like. You can upbeat to the side platforms. Uh, platforms, you can uh, run away pretty well. You can go underneath the stage very easily as Pikachu without burning your jump. So you're, like, pretty solid. It's, bo it's good for both characters, though, because Zap's mm -hmm. going to want to use that upbeat bombs away hammer to get a kill, but... Jab kills really early because the side blast zones are really small. Yeah. The there, there's a reason. Oh, it's oh. over. Oh, wow. There is a reason that Shiny Mark is the third winningest player of all time for a coin box. Mm. He just he just really is that good. And now Zap has to fight Onin in losers again. Tough matchup. So yeah. so no rematch for Zap. No rematch for Zap. Well, he's still in the bracket. He's in losers. But 